Hello, I'm Inya Zalea from TolerateCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to get daylight footage to look like night footage and it's actually a very easy way to get that result in Adobe After Effects. Um, the first thing you will have to know is how will you film your footage. If you can film it at night with some extra lights to, fill, uh, to, to light your actors, that's definitely the way to go. But a lot of cameras can't really record great quality at night or you want to film it at daylight because you need to see things. I don't know what your reasons are, but sometimes you need to do it in post. And that's what I'll be showing you today. When you film your footage, make sure that it's on a cloudy day or that you block the sunlight with a, like a white sheet so the shadows don't come out harsh on your scene. If you do have harsh shadows, that can look like a full moon kind of scene, but in most occasions that won't really sell the effect. Okay, so let's get started. This is a footage I will be using in this tutorial. You can download that in the link in the description and then you can follow along with the same kind of footage. So import it in Adobe After Effects by just dragging your footage into a new composition and then I will right click here new adjustment layer. I will rename that first to degrade. So we are going to degrade our footage, make it a little bit less saturated and also take away the highlights. To do that go to effect color correction vibrance and let's change the vibrance to something like negative 35 and you will see immediately that the colors are taken away at night you won't see that much of saturation so we are taking away the color. Vibrance doesn't really uh, look at orange tones or skin tones so that's ideal uh, we still want to see faces and things like that so that's why I'm using vibrance over saturation. Then you can go to effect color correction curves and what I do is bring away the highlights. Something like this should look fine. And then I'll drop down here in the shadows as well to get some contrast back into our shot. Then I'll go to the red tones and then you can also bring them down in the shadows like so. And maybe in highlights we can keep them like this. The greens also take them away until you get something that you like. Uh, not too purple, so something like kind of cyan color should be fine. Okay, so this looks all right, and then we can go to the blue tones and increase that a little bit, uh, maybe not that much in the shadows. And there we go. So immediately we have a different result if we toggle this uh, on and off. We can see that it already looks kind of like night footage, but we'll right click and add a new adjustment layer. And here we are going to the effects panel again, go to color correction, hue and saturation, and here we can click on colorize. And then that's going to colorize the whole image. We'll drag until we have something like blue. Okay, so I'll toggle it back like uh, maybe 240 should be fine. Maybe a little bit less. Okay, there we go. Uh, 230 should be all right. And then you can increase the saturation to your likings. Um, maybe a little bit more or less. I want to go more towards sign than actual blue. Uh, something like this should look fine and toggle this to like 70% and then go to the mode of your uh, adjustment layer. You can toggle the switches if you don't see that and change the mode to overlay. And then we'll see that it's a, a very saturated uh, blue kind of effect. Uh, we're going to toggle that down by pressing T on the keyboard and then just dragging the opacity down until you like what you're seeing. So maybe 50 is a little bit too much, uh, I'm not sure. Um, Let's take it to 40 and then right click again, add a new adjustment layer again and go to effects, color correction, tint and that's going to make it black and white and again you can go to overlay and also toggle down the opacity to maybe 30. And that's going to desaturate it a little bit more and that's yeah kind of the result that we're looking after. Then what you can do is also add a new adjustment layer and keep doing things like uh, maybe try to work a little bit more with the curves. Uh, like I don't really like that it's too dark here in the shadows. So I'll take, bring that up a little bit, but I'll take it down in the highlights again. So like a very slight edge here that goes up. So we get a little bit more information back in the shadows. But most of the times at night, you won't really see your shadows. So um, it's just because I like to work it like that. So. 
bring it down here a little bit more to make it even darker and there we go and if we toggle this on and off we can see that uh, the highlights uh, really are starting to, to disappear so and this is actually what we're looking for and then lastly you can go for a cool look like go to new uh, solid and change this to a black color and add these borders to get a wide shot like uh, in the movies um, and then go to the mask tool here to the rectangle mask tool get at the center of your composition right here and then hold control well click hold control and hold shift and alt or just hold alt and control and no shift and then you can drag around like so and then you can decide how why you want your shot to be and then go to uh, here and change that from add to subtract and then you get these borders which are going to make it look uh, like very wide range and it's also going to look very cool so we can click on the footage bring that down as well so uh, a touch so the um, this one here is at the center of our height and yeah then we have our night shot so we can toggle on and off our scene here and toggle everything off and then see the steps so we desaturate it a little bit then add a bit of blue tones add a little bit of desaturation again and then again add some finishing touches with the curves and this is actually how to accomplish a night shot at daylight but the most important thing is again the shadows make sure you don't have shadows from the sun or it's going to um, it's not really going to work even full moon isn't really going to show up the same way that the sun makes shadows so try to figure that out take a look on Google and search for some night footage to get some um, IDs and then try to emulate that effect in Adobe After Effects like we did right here and it's not an exact science so uh, you can just uh, play around with all these settings don't follow it exactly if you're using it on your shot because it might work completely different so just try and yeah I'm really excited to know what you will be using this for let me know in the comments below and if you have created something using this effect also put it in the comments below so I can check it out I'm really excited to see what you can come up with thank you so much for watching if you liked the video give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more videos and yeah check out the channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and goodbye